So first we had Gichi Gotti confirming and talking about retirement from URL. Now we got another EFB member, Rum Nitty, also talking about not being on URL for much longer. Do these things have anything to do with Swamp and Chef Trez not going down on the riot? Let's talk about it. Battle Booth is half, half a gang on the low. He half a gang on the low. I'm and I'm I'm Battle Booth gang, so y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. The Battle Booth. If you look him up, y'all go subscribe to his channel. Don't go, man. Nitty, rum nitty, don't go, bro. Rum nitty's one of my favorite people, bro. One of my favorite people in battle rap. Rum nitty's somebody who is not loud. He's not obnoxious. Rum nitty's not all over the place, always bringing attention to himself, bringing controversy and drama to himself. Nitty's usually... Behind the scenes in the background, quiet, until it's time for Nitty to step on a stage or into a battle to do what he has to do. That's when Nitty makes his noise, bro. That's when Nitty shows up. He shows up when he needs to show up. I love Nitty for that, bro, for the fact that he's not somebody who be on camera talking all this ish about other people and Avoids the drama, bruh. Rum Nitty avoids the drama. Rum Nitty don't go, bruh. We need more people like you in this culture, bro. We need more people like Rum Nitty. Not about the extra stuff, bro. Just comes to rap. Just this morning, I was going through social media and I saw a post. Let me pull up the post for you guys. I want you guys to see it. All right, hold up. And I'm going to make sure you guys can see this post, too. Because I know sometimes when I show my, my phone on the camera, it's, like, really bright. And you guys can't see it for some reason. It's weird. So I'm going to make sure you guys can see this post real quick. Hold up. Washed Chronicles says to Rum Nitty, we need you on Summer Madness. Rum Nitty responds and says, I don't think I'm going to be on the URL stage too much more. Hold up. There it is. Rum Nitty responds to that post of somebody telling him that we need him on Summer Madness by saying he doesn't believe he's going to be on URL too much more. Is this coincidence? Because at the same time, right? We got this. Hold up. At the same time, in the same token, we got this. Listen. And um, shit, like, you know, I wanted to ask you about this question. Um, yeah. So it's saying that you were supposed to be retiring and stuff. Yeah, man, you know, uh, the retirement shit, man, that's, yeah, my head ain't even trying to hear that right. He like, nah, but, but look, not a retirement shit, it's just, you know, I got so many other endeavors in my life that kind of, like, take up a lot of my time. And then, you know, the way I bring my, my A game to this crowd, I want to always be able to get at to the people. Man, I done battle so many motherfuckers. And it's like, you know, I want to take that step away and focus more on this music. We got this album coming soon that's crazy. Gichi Gotti just confirmed on Hip Hop Is Real, right, that these retirement rumors were actually true. So we got, as of August 23rd, 
Geechee Gotti confirming that he's going to be taking a step back pretty much. Retiring, taking a step back to focus on other endeavors. Rum Nitty, at around the same time, just today or yesterday, responded to somebody who asked to see him on Summer Madness and says, I'm probably not going to be on there for much longer. Geechee Gotti stated right in this very short 10 second clip that I just showed y'all that Geechee Gotti says he's looking to focus on other endeavors. That's what he said. He just said that. His music, no studioing. <coughs> the riot. <coughs> the riot. Some of y'all are probably listening to me right now and already putting two and two together. Some people are probably already putting two and two together. The riot. Gichi Gotti is planning on retiring to focus on his endeavors, his businesses. Brilliant move, wonderful move, bro. One of those endeavors is the riot. Me, right, constantly always thinking is putting two and two together. And if Geechee Gotti is publicly putting out there, right, that he's going to be retiring, taking a step back from the URL battle rap to focus on his endeavors. And at the same time, we got another EFB member. We know those guys are tight. Nitty and Geechee talking about no longer battling on URL for much longer. Putting those two things together. Almost. Makes me want to say. That this could be. This could very well be. A reason. As to why. The swamp. And chef Trez battle is not going down could very well be one of the primary reasons that this chef Trez and swamp battle is not going down if Gichi Gotti is actually going to retire and focus on the riot and rum nitty does the same thing those are two of URL's megastars Now transitioning into becoming a competitor to the URL. This is me speculating. If you guys just watched, because yo, it's funny. Because I could say something, right? I could say something, right? And people will call me crazy. But then you can have another blogger like maybe Piper Boy or Chris Unbiased say the same exact thing that I'm saying. And y'all all be like, oh, you're a genius. Oh, that's exactly what's, oh, that's facts. That's facts. I'll say the same exact thing. And some people are going to call me crazy. I just watched the Chris blog earlier today, a Chris Unbiased. Salute to Chris Unbiased. Where he also says that it's absolutely a possibility, bro, that the URL, in fact, did have something to do with this battle not going down. But all I'll see in his comment thread are people saying, oh, yeah, that's facts. Like, URL's behind this. But let me say this, and people are going to be like, oh, you was talking trash. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what... That's what happens. I I'm not, I don't know why. I don't know what the hell's going on. I know I got a bunch of haters for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Probably because I'm able to grow a, a channel on my own. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of other people haven't. That's probably why people just look at my channel sometimes or just come to hate or something like that. I really don't care for it. It's just the point, the matter of the fact. It's a matter of the fact that multiple people do believe and can actually believe that the URL might have had something to do with this. On top of the fact that ARP is currently on a rampage, pretty much laying out every single time the URL has blocked something or has blocked a battler around the same time. But again, around the same time, we got Rum Nitty talking about he's not going to be on URL much longer. We got Geechee Gotti talking about retirement, the owner of the riot. The riot just had a battle, just had a battler from URL 
back out on a battle. So putting these things together, putting all these things together, almost makes me believe, bro, that the URL did in fact have absolutely have something to do with that Swamp and Chef Tres situation. Because I just dropped a blog yesterday saying that I don't know. The only reason that the URL wouldn't do that is if Geechee was and or remained an asset to the URL. If, Ichi, if Geechee is and will remain an asset to the URL, the URL wouldn't try and do that. Because you would be sabotaging one of your own assets. Like, you can't do that. There will be a huge beef between Geechee Gotti and URL. But now that this information is coming out, Geechee Gotti's planning on retiring to focus on his endeavors, The Riot, No Studio, and, and Rum Nitty, another member of EFB, and Geechee Gotti's boy is also talking about not being on URL much longer, absolutely makes me believe, bro, that the URL would in fact, knowing this type of stuff, have something to do with having blocked that battle. Absolutely has something to do with blocking that battle. Knowing that Geechee Gotti is planning on becoming your competitor, knowing that Rum Nitty is no longer going to be on there, but he's super cool with Geechee Gotti, so he's most likely going to be battling on the riot, Rum Nitty, then I can absolutely see how the URL could have absolutely had something to do with this battle between Swamp and Chef Trez not going down, bro. But the most important thing here, bro, I feel like, because the battle's already, it's already blocked. It's already not going to happen on the third. That situation's already said and done. You know what I'm saying? So what's more important, I feel like, here is Rum Nitty, bro. Don't go, bro. Please don't go. Nitty, you are one of the better battle rappers, bro. You are one of the you are one of the best battle rappers, bro. Nobody delivers punches like Nitty. Nobody can set up his punches like Nitty, bro. Nitty's arguably top puncher, bro. Arguably top puncher of all time, bro. Nitty, we need you, bro. And if you do decide to leave and separate from URL, at least continue battling. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, it doesn't matter what league you battle on as long as we keep seeing you. You know what I mean? But again, bro, knowing this information now, seeing that these are the types of things that are going on in the background, possibly even conversations that are being had with URL being aware of these types of things, I can 100% see how the URL could have had a hand in blocking the battle on the riot. Knowing this information, bro, I need to know what some of y'all thinking, bro. Like, knowing these types of things now, Knowing these things kind of changes, kind of changes how I look at whether or not URL blocked that battle or not. What's going on and these things that are coming out now definitely helps me to, because who's to say that, who's to say that Rum didn't say that, right? Didn't say that, this specifically, because they think that the URL blocked that battle. Who's to say that Rum is saying that, right, on this post, because him and Geechee believe that the URL might have had something to do with blocking that battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's to say that's not the situation? Again, this is what he says. So again, I need to know what y'all thinking, man, about this. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and down right for the battle.